Assalamualaikum and hi. Good day to all panel and everyone who watch the video. I am Norfasia binti Yusuf, a final year Bachelor of Science with Honours, Applied Chemistry student of UITM Police. My supervisor is Dr. Nondayana binti Mastar. Today, I will be presenting my final year project entitled An Optimization of Pressurized Liquid Extraction of Vitamin C in Roselle, Hibiscus subdarifa L, Calis, a review. Recently, the demands on nature-based products increases especially in the cosmetics and food industries. The natural sources are becoming more common in modern formulations cosmetics products. Roselle is one of natural sources to be used as an ingredient in drinks and cosmetic products. Roselle calyx are the main part which the mostly utilize due to its high concentration of acids vitamin C, and anthocyanins. The kelly is sometimes used as a health beverage, particularly for high blood pressure treatment and were also good for the treatment of liver diseases. First, the global demand for the rapid growth natural antioxidants and the natural antioxidants from Roselle still new natural sources with limited supply in our country. Second, many studies have been conducted on the antioxidants properties of Roselle, but yet the studies are primarily focused on the generation of anti of anti nutrients and antioxidant potentials, but not in vitamin C in calyx. Moreover, researchers are increasingly interested in Roselle oil seeds and their functional properties, which have been infrequently studied and compared to calyx roots and stems. The Roselle vitamin C is widely used as the natural preservative in the food industry, such as in Roselle drinks, due to the growing interest and demand for Roselle functional compounds. It was important to study the optimization sample extraction method. The PLE technique is one of the environmentally method that could lead to save the industry energy sources and yet efficient. The PLE technique could offer high extraction rate, decreased extraction time, better repeatability compared with other extraction methods. Additionally, this study also promoted the green chemistry approach which is crucial to sustain the green sustainability effort since the solvents used are only ethanol and water. The objective are to review the optimization of the extraction method for rose calyx extracts that using pressurized liquid extraction and response surface methodology to evaluate the chemical compounds present in calyx extract that analyze using gas chromatography mass spectrometry as well as to analyze the concentration of vitamin C in the rose calyx extract that conducted using high performance liquid chromatography. This review is focused on understanding the use of central composite design via response surface methodology to optimize pressurized liquid extraction techniques to extract the essential oils from rosé calyx in terms of pressure, extraction temperatures, duration of extraction, and type of solvent were the parameter. This review also revealed on the bioactive essential oils compound which present in the extracts and its concentration via GCMS and HPLC instrumentation analysis. In 2019, Perira and co-workers studied the effect of different variables on the extraction efficiency of PLE of monomeric anthocyanins and total phenolic compounds in grape, grape mars. They reported the highest TPC content is 65.68 mg GAE per gram at 100 degrees Celsius with 50% weight overweight of ethanol water mixture solvent. The most suited PLE conditions for MAC MAC Extraction is ethanol water mixture at pH 2 in 10.21 mg 
of one within three o glucoside per gram of dry, dry creek marsh, Perira et al. 2019. Sabino et al. 2021 conducted a similar study on the extraction of anthocyanins from jam jambolan and achieved the maximum anthocyanin content 55mg of cyanidin 3 o glucoside equivalent per gram of dried fruit flow following two extraction cycles at 90 degrees Celsius and ethanol concentration of 80% volume per volume. Advantages of PLE includes decreased extraction time consumption and better repeatability compared to other methods. Zhang et al. 2018. Furthermore, the PLE is able to be programmed and operated automat automatically, which is more convenient for quality control. Hirundar et al. 2020. However, there are also some drawbacks to PLE, such as the higher cost of the equipment, Picot Alain et al. 2021. According to Manzor et al. 2021, the PLE with solvent ethanol was found to be most efficient for extracting bioactive compounds from hibiscus flowers when compared to hexane and methanol. Manzo et al. 2021 further claimed that the ethanol water solvent is a green solvent and suitable for usage in the food industries. Moreover, ethanol water has the capability to extract a higher content of phenolic compounds compared to other solvents. This statement was proved by the studies conducted by Truon et al. 2019. The ethanol water combinations resulted in high levels of phenolic compounds. Hence, it is believed that an effective extraction with high yield of rosette extracts can be obtained. The design of CCD was employed with RSM to optimize the extraction of oil from pre-dried rosette seeds by using the sauce extraction method, Jahuru et al. 2020. The independent variables in the optimization of Rosal seed oil yield studied were sample weight, solvent volume, and extraction time. The temperature 60 degrees Celsius, solvent type petroleum benzene, and particle size less than 200 micrometer were kept constant. This research experimental design consisted of 3 parameters and 20 random runs based on the CCD. The maximum oil obtained from Rosal seed utilizing the optimization method was 22.11% with the parameters of 14.4 gram sample weight, 329.70 ml solvent volume and 7.6 hours extraction time. Therefore, as has been discussed above, the design of CCD employed with RSM is a very good statistical approach to represent the data under analysis. Amlashi et al. 2020 found that GC instruments have been widely used in industries to determine the volatile phenolic compounds in Roselle calyx. A DB West capillary column has been the most widely used column for separating the volatile compounds of Roselle. To separate the compounds according to volatility characteristics, nitrogen was used as the carrier gas at a constant flow of 1.1 ml per minute. The speed ratio was 1 over 50. The oven temperature was raised from 60 degree to 250 degree Celsius at a rate of 10 degree Celsius per minute. The transfer line temperature was 250 degree Celsius. Helium was used as the carrier gas at a flow rate of 1.1 ml per liter per minute, with a split ratio equal to 1 over 50. A total of 89 compounds were found in the essential oil of calyx samples, representing 91.2% of the total oil content. 
Hence, it is believed that a better separation of volatile compounds in roselle as rest can be obtained. A recent study by Omar et al. 2021 showed that the HPLC tanning is mostly used in roselle studies to measure active compounds such as ascorbic acid from roselle calyx. The sample mixture was separated from each other in the stationary phase using the mobile phase at high pressure. HPLC PDA was used to determine ascorbic acid at 245 nanometer with a retention time of 3.5 minutes. An excellent linearity was found for the tested analyte with a correlation coefficient of 0.9998. The ascorbic acid calibration curve is linear in the concentration range 3 until 100 mg per liter. The LOD was 0.838 mg per liter while the LOQ was 2.514 mg per liter. The calibration curve equation was used to calculate the sample's concentration. The compound's concentration was measured in mg per 100 g dry, dry plant extracts. Thus, improved separation and quantification of vitamin C in rosé extracts is expected. First, RSM was suggested as an effective tool and can reduce the optimal conditions for the extraction of essential oils from rosé samples. Second, to improve extraction performance, the other parameters of PLE, including sample packaging inside the extraction cell sample size and solvent flow rate need to be optimized as they could influence the process. Third, in terms of extraction, besides the PLE, microwave assisted extraction and ultrasonic assisted extraction is recommended to use for extracting phenolic compounds from plant samples.